Okay, okay, very good. So let's begin. And uh, I would like to thank Professor Shi and Professor Beckin to give us such a good opportunity uh, to share the information, to learn. And uh, so the title of uh, my presentation is Effect of Seawater on Performance of uh, Ultra Low Water Vibration Taste. And uh, the presentation will be followed by four uh, pass. First, I would like to introduce a very brief uh, background and then is uh, experiment, the results and discussion. About the experiment, I uh, separate in two parts. So also, uh, also for the results and discussion and then finally a brief conclusion. So first, let's take a look at the background. As we all know that uh, almost 80% uh, of uh, Earth was covered by ocean. And uh, it indicates that a lot of infrastructure were exposed in the seawater, like some uh, regions, the decks and uh, piers, uh, breakwaters. And uh, we know that uh, the, a lot of, uh, I, I mean, some of the aggressive uh, ions uh, was included in the seawater, like the chloride, like uh, the sulfate. It will attack the concrete, attack the, the buildings, and uh, cause some uh, problems like corrosion, like uh, spoiling, expansion, uh, cracking of, uh, of concrete. And on the other hand, uh, if we use the fresh water and the fresh, sea sand, uh, fresh sand to make the uh, concrete, it will uh, reduce the work efficiency and uh, also increase the cost because of the transportation problem and uh, uh, the stuff. So, is there any possible? Is there any possibility to use the seawater and sea sand into concrete? So we know that uh, it's very hard to uh, to achieve uh, such a goal in in normal concrete. So, what about UHPC? Because UHPC have very good uh, performance, like uh, low water vibration and uh, high density, good durability, and uh, and also and the uh, UHPC have a lot of uh, cementitious materials in it. So here I list some um, uh, good reasons for the possibility of using seawater as mixed water in UHPC. And uh, the UHPC have a very low water vibration. It means that uh, we will have uh, less amount of uh, uh, chloride ions introduced into uh, concrete. And also it has uh, uh, a, not, uh, a very good, uh, very high density. It means that uh, a very small amount of uh, low and uh, uh, air in concrete it can reduce the risk, the corrosion risk, risk, because we know that the corrosion should, uh, um, uh, if the corrosion occurs, it should uh, have, uh, it should, uh, you know, it needs the water and the air in concrete. So also the UHPC have very good durability. It will result in less penetration of seawater into concrete. And uh, a lot of cementitious materials was included into in the concrete, then it will uh, it result in the uh, you know the binding of a chloride to form some uh, chloride bindings. So then we then based on this uh, background, we designed some experiment. So this is the experiment one, and uh, we use the cement, silk film, and slag as the cementitious materials, and uh, the artificial uh, seawater was specified by ASTM. And then about this uh, mixed term proportions, we use the seven batch bacteria design. We choose, uh, we choose this zoom because in, uh, in this zoom, the compressive strength of UHPC was very high. So seven points of this zoom was, uh, was uh, selected to, uh, to be the mixed term proportions and the case of mixture proportions. And uh, we cast uh, two series of uh, uh, spacements, one with uh, seawater and one with the uh, fresh water as the uh, control um, specimens. So 
let's go to the results and discussion. So first, let's uh, look at the heat of uh, hydration. We can see that with the mixing of uh, seawater, the the heat for a scan was uh, left to the was the move to the left. It indicated that uh, the uh, hydration was accelerated with the, with the mixing of uh, seawater. And then we use this uh, equation to calculate to calculate some uh, parameters. We found that uh, the seawater accelerates the hydration highly, and especially for those uh, for those uh, specimens with uh, slag. We can see that uh, for the FW7, the FW7 was uh, um, fifty percent of slag and fifty percent of cement. The hydration was uh, accelerated for almost seven hours, and uh, then we did some uh, um, we did some tests on the uh, autogenous leakage because the UHPs have a very high autogenous leakage. We found that with the addition with the mixing of the seawater, the um, the autogenous leakage was uh, restrained in a nailer, in a nailer, uh, you know, region, and uh, the, especially for those uh, specimens of uh, SW5 and SW7, it uh, decreased uh, by 51 and uh, 31 respectively. And also with the mixing of uh, seawater, the only compressive strength was increased. You can see that, uh, especially for those uh, specimens with the uh, slag. And uh, then we use the MATLAB to calculate some uh, evolution coefficients to see the how the I mean the extent of uh, effect on the, uh, 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 about the uh, cementitious materials on the properties of uh, hydration, the autogenous leakage, the compressive strength. Well, we found that the role of slag in hydration was increased by seawater, and uh, also. For the autogenous tree cage, the those uh, uh, silica film containing specimens was uh, um, reduced. The tree cage was reduced remarkably, and uh, also for the compressive strength, the cement and slag were mainly effective on the strength development. So why is that? We want to uh, um, we wanted to know the mechanism. Then uh, we did some uh, other uh, test like the uh, TG, uh, the, the TG, we use the DTA and TG to calculate the CH content. We found that uh, for the SW1, the uh, seawater increased the CH content, which was mainly because of the small ionic size and strong negative charges of a chloride, which can uh, accelerate hydration. But on the other hand, the SW2 to SW7, it decreased the CH content, and uh, which may uh, caused by the acceleration, caused the rapid run of uh, CSH, and it can uh, stop the stop the the um, the further quicker uh, hydration, and uh, also the CH in in the paste can react with the uh, sodium chloride in seawater and uh, form the a uh, calcium chloride uh, crystals, and also the seawater can trigger the rapid dissolution of a slag. It can um, promote the polynic reaction. It also can uh, reduce the CH content. And uh, there is uh, another possibility is that uh, the interaction between seawater and paste that may cause the uh, uh, reduce of CH. So. Based on this, uh, we did some uh, XRD. We found that with uh, the SW, the SW spacements have a higher um, have a higher fire sort that that's uh, from, uh, formed by the by the seawater and the cement paste because the the uh, fire sort can be formed in two ways. First is that the, the AFM can transfer to uh, fire sort by the replacement of chloride. And with the, with the alumina phase uh, in, uh, presents in the, in the cementitious materials, it can 
react with the CH, uh, we can react with the, the chloride, chloride compounds and uh, to form the fry salt. So that's why the, the fry salt in SW was uh, highly higher than the fresh tempered. And uh, then we also um, measured the free chloride in the paste. We found that with the, with the addition of uh, SCM, the, the chloride, the free chloride was decreased highly especially for those uh, uh, specimens with uh, slag. So we also did, uh, we also did some uh, NAD results, uh, NAD test to measure the pore structure and the prosty. We found that with the, with the um, uh, mixing of seawater, the uh, pores was refined, was refined to to the smaller lilac uh, capillaries, uh, and that that may may be caused the uh, in increase of current compressive strength and also change the autogenous shrinkage. So that's the uh, that's the false experiment, and uh, here is a, a brief conclusions for the false experiment. That's the incorporation of uh, seawater change in the, the interaction of uh, slag and the silica field with the cement, we, uh, which affect the early agent properties of uh, matrix. <coughs> and uh, the seawater also increased the, the air lower of uh, slag in hydration of the of the the, the binder, and the, the autogenous shrinkage was restrained remarkably for some of the uh, specimens, especially for the for those with the uh, silica film specimens. And the seawater also increased the role of cement and slag in the uh, strength, uh, compressive strength uh, development. So based on this uh, conclusion, we found that uh, the effect of uh, slag on, when with the uh, mixing of seawater, the effect of slag was very, was very high than other specimens. So uh, we, we did another test to see that uh, uh, because uh, slag, we, we, we have a lot of uh, alumina phase in slag. So in the second experiment, we did some, uh, we choose some uh, SCMs with a lot of uh, alumina phase like MK and like uh, fly ash and the slag. We have a different kind of uh, alumina phase. And uh, to see the how the alumina phase affected the, the chloride binding. And we, we, we use the same uh, seawater. And here is the mixture design. And uh, the, the slag, the, uh, the fly ash, the MK was uh, changed from 10% to 30%. And the water to ratio is uh, 0 0.60. And uh, then let's go to the results. We found that we used the free chloride to, to, to be the, the chloride binding capacity. We found that with the addition of uh, SCMs, uh, the, the content, the percentage of uh, free chloride decreased highly. And uh, then we, we, we used the binding percentage to, to uh, represent the chloride binding capacity. We found that with the addition of uh, uh, SCMs, which with the uh, uh, luminal phase increased the chloride binding capacity uh, highly. And uh, the total chloride binding capacity is that uh, uh, the most is uh, MK and then slag and then fly ash. And the maxi maximum binding percentage is like 46%. And uh, it uh, uh, compared with uh, the ori uh, original one is increased like uh, 80, 85%. So that's very good for the for the uh, for the reduced redu redu reduction of uh, corrosion risk if we want to use it in, in the re uh, reinforcement uh, uh, concrete. And uh, then we also did some uh, chemical chloride binding used the uh, XID. We found that uh, the fry salt uh, decreased uh, increased increased by the addition of uh, addition of SCMs. The 
MK, the M cases, the specimens have a highest uh, fry sort, and then is a fry ash, and then is a slag. But here there is a, 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 a problem is that for the chloride capacity, the, the, the slag was higher than fry ash, but the, the chemical chloride binding, the uh, fry ash was, uh, was more than uh, slag. So then we did some uh, physical chloride binding to use the data potential to represent uh, the physical chloride binding because uh, uh, a lot of uh, previous studies to use this uh, to, to measure the physical chloride binding. And we found that with the addition of, uh, I mean, the slag, the slag based, uh, the slag containing specimens have a higher data potential, which, which means that uh, the slag containing specimens have uh, a higher uh, physical chloride binding capacity. And uh, why is that? So we did some, uh, um, we did some uh, test for the discussion and the, the heat of uh, hydration. We found that with the, the with the, the addition with the increase of the SCM, the uh, also the hydration was accelerated, and uh, especially for the MK MK uh, containing basements. And uh, we also can figure we can observe some uh, adult students. It uh, it uh, indicated that uh, in, uh, the intense interaction between seawater and cementation materials. And then we did uh, the EDS uh, analysis um, to measure the to measure the CA to SI ratio and the CA to AAR ratio. And we found that uh, the CA to SI ratio was uh, the, the slag was higher than MK and then uh, fly ash, which in which is in a very good accord with accord according accord to with the, the physical chloride binding and for the alumina uh, for the SI to AR ratio is in good uh, accord with the uh, chemical chloride binding. So we are thinking is that uh, the is that the physical chloride binding was uh, affected by the calcium or uh, and the and the uh, chemical chloride binding was uh, uh, affected by the alumina so we did some uh, we draw some uh, relationships between the uh, uh, alumina and the fry salt alumina and uh, uh, calcium oxide with uh, with the fry salt we found that with the increase of uh, Alumina uh, phase, the fry salt increased and uh, increase of uh, calcium oxide, the fry salt decreased. It's also the same with the deportation, which means that the alumina phase in the cementitious material increased, uh, increased uh, um, uh, the chemical chloride binding and the calcium oxide. Uh, in, in the cementitious materials increased the uh, formation of uh, physical, I, I mean, increased the physical adsorption. So then we, we, we draw the binding capacity uh, with the, the, um, the alumina phase, the alumina oxide. We found that uh, the increase of uh, alumina phase Alumina oxide, the binding percentage was increased, and uh, with the increase uh, of uh, calcium con content, the binding percentage, I mean, the uh, chemical, uh, the chloride binding uh, capacity decreased, which means that uh, the chemical chloride binding makes greater contribution than physical to chloride binding capacity, which is, uh, which is, is very interesting. But uh, for these relationships, uh, mm, we need to do uh, more uh, research on the on the mechanism, and uh, th th this is the second experiment. And uh, we also got uh, another conclusion. And the uh, conclusions that is uh, that uh, in see what mixed in low water bioduration phase addition of alumina containing uh, SCMs can promote the capacity of uh, chloride binding. And MK exhibited the highest chloride binding capacity. 
than the other SEMs, and the maximum maximum binding capacity reached 40, almost 46. And uh, the chemical chlorine binding mainly relates to the activated uh, aluminum oxides in cementitious materials. And the physical, physical ones was uh, related to the calcium oxide. And uh, compared with the chem chemical chlorine binding and the physical chlorine binding, the chemical chlorine binding makes greater contribution than the, than the physical. And uh, that's uh, all of my presentation. And uh, I think I, I, I leave a lot of time for discussion. And 